This is a brief introduction of navigating your Tinkercad work area. The first thing that you want to do when you create a Tinkercad file is rename your file to be a file name that makes sense for what you are designing. Hit enter when you are done. I'm going to bring a quick shape onto our work plane so that way we have something to look at. As we go through this, this top toolbar will give you access or in access to buttons uh, depending on what you have selected or not have selected. Over here we have on the right hand side we have all the objects that we can place onto our work plane and then on the left we're going to learn how to navigate which is the focus of this lesson. Before we begin I'm going to change my grid by clicking on edit grid in the bottom right hand corner and change it to inches. I'm going to determine what size grid I should be working on. I'm going to change it to eight by two, so that way my design that I'm going to be doing in this tutorial today is no bigger than that, okay? And so from here, to learn how to navigate around the work plane, we'll notice that if we are looking at the cube in front of us, we are actually looking at this top, the front top edge of our cube. And if we look at the cube up here in the left corner, then that is the same up there. If we were to click home view, then this is our home view. This is where we will always come back to when we press that. So if I were to navigate around my cube by pressing on one of the work planes, and if I press home, I'll, it will always bring you back to this view. To navigate around a little bit easier, I can also click and drag on the cube itself. So I could be looking at the bottom. And if I were to click on fit all in view, then I'll actually zoom in to see only my cube and if I click home view, then I'll go back to my home view. Another way that you can navigate around or change your view is by holding down control and then click and drag on your work plane in order to see a different angle. And the same thing applies here. I could press either of these buttons and they will change my view. I can also manually zoom in that way as well as zoom in with two fingers on my touchpad swiping up or down. And then if I did the same thing, I can press the minus sign to zoom out. Again, going back to my home view. I do recommend changing, uh, keeping it on perspective view and not changing it off of that because the other view tends to be confusing to most students. And then the last thing on here is the ability to add on your shapes. And if you choose a different menu from here, then you have access to a bunch of different shapes. So now I'm going to take it back to class and walk you through the rest of your design process.